10. Rampage at Gold's Gym In October of 2011, a New York weightlifter entered a Gold's Gym and went on a terrifying rampage. His name was Chad Brothers, 32 years old. He walked into the gym, started trashing the place, and then had a heart attack after the cops used a taser on him to quell his violent frenzy. According to police chief Stephen Hader, Chad had attacked a female officer and assaulted a gym goer. And the only way to settle the hulking mania was with a shock of electricity. But let's back things up to the start. The police were initially called after Chad punched a man who was running on a treadmill. The guy was literally just minding his own business and Chad went up and socked him. He then lost his mind, started destroying weight machines, throwing office equipment around, and chucking dumbbells across the room. When a female officer showed up and realized she was dealing with a man hopped up on steroids, she had no choice but to jolt him with a taser. But even after being hit once, Chad didn't slow down. Multiple officers had to shoot him with their tasers, shocking him four or five times and beating him with a baton before he was finally subdued. Now, nobody gets hit with a taser that many times without some serious damage. Once he was subdued, the cops rushed him to Albany Medical Center but he died from cardiac arrest at 7.15 in the morning. Nobody knows what triggered the incident, but experts believe steroids had thrown him into an angry delirium. 9. Tearing a Muscle At the beginning of 2021, Ryan Big Rig Crowley had one of the worst days at the gym ever. The winner's pectoral muscle tore right off his bone. Ouch! He didn't just tear his muscle, it literally detached itself from his skeleton. Ryan and his friend Larry Wheels, also a power lifter, were pumping iron at a local gym in Dubai when they started egging each other on. Ryan amped himself up and added an extra 88 pounds to his bench press, totaling a weight of 485 pounds. That extra huge chunk of weight was just too much for his body to handle. He tore his muscle on video right in the middle of his bench press. In the disturbing footage, you can even see Ryan's pectoral tendon jutting out of his skin from where it had been ripped off the bone. He collapsed on the floor in agony and was rushed to the hospital. His whole arm was covered in bruises all the way down his torso. This wasn't an injury that Ryan could just walk away from. Doctors had to completely reconstruct his pec, and it will take a considerable amount of time to recover. 8. Carjacking Gone Wrong In June of 2021, a grandmother was shot and killed outside a Houston gym as she was trying to walk in the front door. Two suspects ambushed 62-year-old Elsa Mekiska as she arrived for her 5 o'clock exercise class. It was the first thing in the morning, the sun was still down, and these two scumbags were lurking in the parking lot waiting to rob somebody. They had driven up in a white Chevrolet SUV just before 5 o'clock, then waited for the grandmother to get out of her vehicle. It was just supposed to be a robbery, but when Elsa realized what was happening, she bolted for the front doors. The thieves were caught by surprise, and they opened fire on her, filling her with bullets before she could even enter the gym. The tragedy shook the community to its core and positively devastated Elsa's family. The two suspects got away at first, but were quickly apprehended and have since been charged with capital murder. Both of the suspects were juveniles. One was just 16 years old. Regardless of their age, both are likely to spend their entire adult lives locked behind bars. 7. Dead and Missing in late January of 2022, a young woman in California said she was going to the gym. It was the last time she was ever seen alive. 
According to the Oceanside Police Department, Sarah Otero, 28 years old, was last seen early in the morning on January 28th. She left her mother's house claiming she was going to meet a friend and work out together. But when she never returned home and her parents reached out to the friend, they said they were unaware of plans. The family was a little panicked, but hoping their daughter had maybe just taken some time for herself down at the beach. When she didn't show up for work later on, something she had never done, her family was immediately worried. They called the police and reported her missing. Two weeks after she vanished, Sarah's body was found. Police first discovered her vehicle at a greasy rest stop on Interstate 5. When they searched the area, they uncovered her corpse at the bottom of a cliff, which happens to be in a restricted training area of a Marine Corps base camp. Here's where things get really strange. The Oceanside Police claimed that they found nothing suspicious about her death when all the facts we have point to something extremely suspicious going on. First of all, the friend she was supposed to go to the gym with. Why did she lie about it? Or was it the friend that was lying? And another thing, Sarah was in a romantic relationship with someone she had only met over Zoom calls. This is also a little weird. The police may not suspect foul play, but it seems unlikely that Sarah lied about going to the gym only to fall off the edge of a cliff near an interstate bathroom. 6. Crushed by a Barbell During the Christmas season of 2016, Kyle Thompson, a man of just 22 years old, went to the gym to work out in central Iowa. He frequented the Elite Edge Transformation Center in Ankeny, about 10 miles from Des Moines. It was an ordinary Monday morning and Kyle was working out with a barbell. Everything went terribly wrong in the blink of an eye when the barbell slipped from his hand and crushed his neck. Mark Yance, a spokesman for the gym, said in a statement that Kyle was bench pressing 315 pounds at the time of the accident. There had been people spotting the Iowa State University student when the barbell slipped, but none of them were fast enough to grab the bar before it landed on his throat. They were able to get the thing off him, but the damage had already been done. An ambulance was called and Kyle was taken to the hospital, where he was pronounced dead from his injuries. That much weight falling directly on his throat was just too devastating to come back from. It was like an elephant stepping on his neck, and it wasn't even like he didn't know what he was doing. Kyle was a sharp guy, he was fit, he knew exactly how to properly work out. It was simply a freak accident, a horrible thing that could honestly happen to anyone. 5. Brutal Security Guard Assault A security guard at a gym in Mesquite, Texas was just doing his job when he ended up dead. According to the police, 43-year-old Patrick Prejean got into a physical altercation with a group of men at the gym in January of 2022. It happened at a fitness connection on Town East Boulevard. We don't know exactly what the pair were arguing about, but it got extremely heated. Witnesses say three men attacked the security guard and beat him viciously, to the point where he was lying unresponsive on the floor. The trio took off running, bystanders called the police, and Patrick was whisked to the hospital. Sadly, he died from his injuries. The police investigation led them to three men in their 20s, all from Georgia. All three have also been charged with murder, but we have no motive as to why they did what they did. The security guard was described as a gentle giant by his friends, a lovable man who had never done anything mean to anyone. It appears he had been trying to keep the peace at the gym with three cruel ruffians who were jacked up on testosterone and resorted to violence. The only gym these three young men will be visiting now is the one in prison, where they won't be the only ones jacked up on testosterone. 4. Murdered by the Homeless Matthew Hurley was the manager of a gym in Montana who found himself in an argument with a homeless man in September of 2021. 
Matthew and his assistant manager at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition confronted a man who appeared to be homeless and sleeping in their parking lot on a Thursday morning. According to the assistant manager, also named Matthew, the homeless man began to complain about an unused gym membership that he wanted a refund for. Even though they were under absolutely no obligation to give him a refund for this apparent gym membership he owned, they did it anyway. That's the kind of good person and great manager Matthew Hurley was. But the homeless man didn't end things at the refund. After he got his money, he demanded more. He told Matthew and Matthew that he needed more cash and that no wasn't an option. When Matthew Hurley said no and that more money was going beyond what he was willing to do, things got dark, fast. Without hesitation, the homeless man said, okay, then you're going to die. He pulled out a gun and started shooting. Matthew was hit, but the assistant manager managed to run away to safety. A bystander who heard the shots ran to their vehicle and retrieved a firearm and got into a shootout with the homeless man. It was absolute anarchy. The bystander got shot, but so did the suspect. Both were taken to hospital, and Hurley was declared dead at the scene. 3. The Horrible Butchering of Molly McLaren Molly McLaren was the tragic victim of an extreme act of wickedness. What happened to Molly should, quite frankly, never happen to anyone. She was butchered by her ex-boyfriend as she sat in her car on June 27, 2018. She wasn't just stabbed a little. Her crazed boyfriend, Joshua Stimson, knifed her 75 times in an outburst of uncontrollable mania. Molly had been working out at the gym when Joshua approached her. He had been stalking Molly ever since they split up 12 days previously. Molly was horrified that he had followed her to the gym, and so she quickly packed up her stuff and headed out to the parking lot. It was 10.45 in the morning. The very last thing she did was sit in her car and text her friends. She texted her mother saying that Joshua turned up at the gym and that she was scared. She also messaged some of her friends, explaining the horror she was dealing with. What she didn't know was that Joshua was waiting with a pair of knives and a pickaxe. Joshua had been watching her from his own vehicle. When he saw his opportunity, he ran at her car, yanked open the door, and started stabbing. Molly tried to fight him off, but there was nothing she could do against the flurry of knife blows. She screamed, honked her horn, and was dead in minutes. There was no getting away for Joshua Stimson. He was arrested and brought to jail. At his trial, it took less than three hours for the jury to convict him of murder. He was given a sentence of 26 years. Although considering the circumstances, it doesn't seem like enough. 2. Crushed in Mexico A woman in Mexico City was crushed to death by a 400-pound barbell. As if getting crushed by an extremely heavy bar of metal isn't terrible enough, it happened right in front of her young daughter. According to the New York Post, the 42-year-old mom was working out on a Monday at Fitness Sport in February of 2022. Just before she got in position, a large man had adjusted the plates on the barbell. The woman sat down on the bench, tried to lift the barbell, and immediately lost control of it. It fell from her hands and crushed her neck, snapping her head forward and killing her on the spot while her daughter screamed in horror. She was dead instantly, but her daughter and those nearby still struggled to get the barbell off her neck and perform basic first aid. What's really strange is that the woman dressed in a sweatshirt with her hair down didn't look like she was prepared to lift a whopping 400 pounds above her head. We don't know if she was unaware of how much weight was on the bar, if the man who had stacked the weight knew that she couldn't handle it, or what. Authorities in Mexico say the accident is still under investigation. 1. Snapped Leg It was in March of 2017 when a man snapped his knee on a leg press machine in the middle of his workout. Somebody was filming this guy at an Indian gym as he pushed hundreds of pounds on the leg press. It was pretty impressive. He was moving a lot of weight. 
and then his body decided to quit. His leg bent back the wrong way and snapped like someone had dropped a huge stone on a brittle twig. The victim was identified as Ambrish Patel, a regular at the gym. An employee of the gym said that after the incident, Ambrish was actually doing quite okay. He couldn't work out anymore and it would take him six months to fully heal, but he should have normal use of his legs. That's extremely good news, considering just how bad this could have been. Would you rather drop a heavy dumbbell on your foot or fall off the treadmill mid sprint? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you again soon for another awesome video.